not all data is measured the same way. To analyze data correctly, you need to understand the scales of measurement, from simple categories to complex calculations. Let's walk through the four fundamental types. First, the nominal scale. This scale classifies data into distinct categories with no inherent order or numerical value. For example, race, with values or categories as black, white, Asian, etc. These are labels, not ranked values. It's like sorting books by genre. We have fiction, history, science, etc. The important thing to notice here is that though each category is unique, but none is greater than the other. This is the nominal scale, just distinct categories and no order. Next is the ordinal scale. This scale organizes data into ordered categories, but the intervals between them are not necessarily equal. For example, police ranks. We have categories like officer, corporal, sergeant, etc. Here the order matters, but the gap between the ranks isn't uniform. We can't say the gap between an officer and a corporal is the same as that between a corporal and a sergeant. We just know that one is ranked higher than the other. It's like a race. We have the first, second, and third place. There is a clear order, but the time difference between positions may vary. So the second person may come in 5 seconds after the first, while the third person came in 30 seconds seconds after the second. So the distance between the positions vary. This is the ordinal scale with distinct categories which are ordered. Third, we have the interval scale. This is where we start to deal with real numbers instead of categories. It features ordered values and equal intervals but lacks a true zero point. So you can add and subtract values but ratios don't hold meaning because the zero point is relative. Example here is the temperature in Celsius. Zero degrees Celsius doesn't mean no temperature because at zero degrees it is very cold and at its equivalent to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Our analogy here is like a calendar. The difference between March and April is consistent but there is no absolute zero month. So with interval scale, you can measure the intervals but not true absence. And finally, the ratio scale. This scale includes ordered values with equal intervals and a true zero point. It allows for full range of math mathematical operations including multiplications and division. For example, the temperature in Kelvin, where zero means complete absence of heat. Think of it like measuring weight on a scale. Zero means no weight at all. That's absolute zero. And every unit is equally spaced. You can say something weighs twice as much as another thing and it's mathematically valid. So to recap, nominal has to do with unordered categories. Ordinal deals with ordered categories but with unequal intervals. For the interval scale, we have ordered values, equal intervals but no true zero. And finally, the ratio scale, we have ordered values, equal intervals with a true zero point. Awesome. Understanding these skills help you to choose the right statistical tools and interpret data accurately. Now that you understand how data is measured, you will start recognizing these skills everywhere. And that is why I said 